Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey. I am the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric. And in the last episode, we were tasked with exploring the 11th floor. We um, explored the uh, very northwestern area and fought a big crab. We sadly didn't get the special drop, but it had 2000 HP. I'm glad I made it alive out of that fight. Cough, cough. Barricase, you didn't. Cough, cough. Um, after that, we went back to the um, town and sold what we got. I think we unlocked a couple items. Uh, I think we un un equipped Arbuckle and Keenan with stud vests that give a lot of defense, and we equipped Barracus with a stud vest as well, taking away his TP boost that he had. Um, apart from that, I don't think I did much. Nope. I don't think I did my I, uh, chain boots might have been might have happened there, but I don't know. Um, we're gonna go back into the um, Yggdrasil labyrinth in this episode. I don't happen to come across any new quests, do I? What are these? Bandit's treasure. Meet a blade master. Yeah, that that golem is not happening right now, buddy. That golem is not happening. I've made, some, uh, I've made some bad experiences with you. I've made some very, very not good experiences with you, Mr. Man. I'm probably not gonna do that golem anytime soon. Oh well. He didn't give me quite the beating. Not only does he blind everyone and one-shot everybody, no, he also has ridiculous amounts of defense. Oh well, tree frog. <clears throat> As you're used to by now, it's early morning again, so my voice has to warm up before I'm able to, well, show you my top performance at whatever that may be. Um, Keenan will level up here. That is his 10th level up in strength. Hellcry is available. I'll go into Hellcry, although I really don't think that's going to be good for me. But if I have provoke level 10 hell no 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 don't do it. If I have provoke level 10 then hell cry will be a viable pickup. I think. No, I did not mean to defend. I'm sorry. Now uh, that is a speed decrease. That's no good. These spiders have a ton of of defense as well. How is it that everybody gets to attack and then, only then, Chuckles defends? That's ridiculous. We also picked up the Thor skill with Chuckles and found out that Thor is actually a, an AoE skill. And that's the reason for it to be, um, to have less requirements to pick it up than, um, than uh, Thunder. And Thunder is has higher requirements, but it's the strongest single target spell we have access to. But I'm not going to use Thunder, I'm going to use Volt, because Volt is strong as well. And I did level it up to level 5, although that you you might you might not think that's particularly worth it, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Leveling up the, the general, in general, Volt is not particularly good as well, because that, in, in for 5 level ups, for 5 skill points, I get like, I get like, um... Two to five, five damage out of it, so that's not worth it in my opinion. Oh yeah, these guys are really getting my um, confidence up. These weird worm enemies. I'm feeling better already. Just looking at these guys, feeling so comfortable. Well, if you're gonna decrease my resistance, I'm gonna decrease your face. There. Steel bone. I hope that's gonna be good. Ooh. Let's talk to them. In the depth of the forest, you see a lone soldier with a forlorn look. As he sees you, he cries out with relief. You must be the skilled adventurers that the Rada promised would come. The soldier speaks breathlessly as he hands you the parchment. Here, take this! It's a portion of the map I managed to complete. The rest will have to be up to you guys. The soldier continues in a low conspirat conspiratorial voice. Be careful, though. 
I've seen something dreadful lurking around the path ahead. It's a huge turtle. Dreadful. You guys beat Colonel Duno, so you should be okay, but, but be careful, just in case. The soldier quickly flees before you can say another word. With the panicked soldier's map in hand, you continue through the forest. Uh, something dreadful, eh? That's gonna be great. Oh! Oh, that's actually a pretty large portion of the map. That's nothing I expected. You say dreadful. If this to the left is a dead end, then let's hope we don't get ambushed from that side. I'm not a big fan of these normal enemies in this area because they are not strong enough. I have a feeling that I'm not gonna gain... I'm not gonna... Ah, he's sitting right there. Oh. Yep. You're s no, he's not sitting over there, but he's patrolling right through this wall. I know. I know he's over there. I was gonna say something. Ah, the enemies, I really dislike the enemies because they're too weak. I'm not getting enough experience. I'm, they're not getting me ready for the foe fights yet. And there's the foe around the corner. Might not be the greatest idea to engage him right now. He is still two tiles off. That's where he is. Ah, it is a turtle after all, because he just, he did not move. Uh, turtles sometimes just stand in place, particularly slow. And he's just walking away. Uh, it's uh, like four tiles he's away. Well, I'll check out his dead end then. I'll check out your corner. You can't do anything about it, Mr. Man. I, I mean, I took out a turtle before, I took it out before, but um, I'd rather not right now, because that was actually stronger than you might want to face, and uh, like, it's a stronger enemy than I might want to face right now. It's able to do AoE ice skills, and it has some serious attack, it has some serious defense, and um, it has 2000 HP. I'm not up for that task yet. I'm not. I had to revive Keenan during that whole ordeal. I managed to heal him back up, but uh, that didn't stop him from, from you know, murdering Barracus in a sh in one hit. Didn't feel that so particularly good. You know, you might wanna. You might expect that. Uh oh, he walked my direction. Yeah. Ooh, preemptive. Mm, that makes it tempting. Good lord. Well, let me take a, a, a sip of my my uh, beautiful elixir of, of uh, eternal life, aka coffee. Well, sometimes I think coffee takes more out of me than it actually gives me, but still. Um, we will provoke this fucker. I'm sorry, excuse my language here, but I'm I'm vulgar in the morning, and you should know why, because this turtle is quite big. It's a big turtle. Quite a big turtle. My my father has turtles. Those are not not cute, but those are not as big and thus look less terrifying. Making them semi-cute. Uh, yeah, alas, it's just turtles. They stink. They don't do much over the course of a day. Except for eating and, and sleeping. A lot of that. And my mother hates them. But that's just... That's just besides the point, isn't it? Alright, we, we provoked the turtle. That's a good start. That's a great start. Yeah, you can see we, are, we almost scratched its surface, literally. Uh, Apollon is in the air. I can feel it right now. We are going to going to continue true shotting and I don't think we're gonna thunder <clears throat> I hope he actually um, does what I want him to do meaning up oh, he's preparing for the AoE skills and he that's awesome that's awesome
You're being a douchebag. You're being a really, really big ding dong right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut your face, sir. That was a ding dong move. Uh, salves. I'm gonna have to do salve twice to to beat that. Arrows rain from the skies for 100 damage. That's not much. Uh, Keenan, uh, how you doing? I I use I use provoke with Arbuckle. I use provoke. It's a skill that provokes the enemy's attention, so that the enemy attacks you instead of the other party members. You know Arbuckle. How about you try again? Because it's not working out. You didn't get attacked yet. Uh, don't kill, don't kill Keenan, please. Is Cure Three enough? Oh, is Cure Three worth? Oh, I don't want to use Cure Three. Too good to use Syndrome. That's 18 TP, and if he dies, he's totally wasted, and he's not. Oh, oh. Oh, let's hope he doesn't do anything stupid. I don't know how much damage I did with the true shot. I think a Palan is worth though. Okay, good. Without provoking, he already attacked Arbuckle. This is good. This is going in the right direction. Oh, is the the greed might end up being worth it. I have provoked him. Now I'm gonna parry. And let's hope that he actually does what I want him to do. Because I have to get by this thing. And um, getting by it might not be the easiest thing. I think I got multi-hit to level 3 already, so I, I should try to multi-hit him. I have literally no reason to use to use True Shot anymore. Uh, maybe I didn't get it to level 3, uh, level 10. Hmm. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 don't do it. Oh, come on, Mr. Man. I don't know why Chuckles is taking so much damage from that. She should be the one with the most ele elemental resistance, but nope. My provoke strategy is not working out wonders, as usual. I will, I would be very happy about being able to pick up the AoE elemental in resistance increase with Eric. But there are so many things I'm going for with Eric right now. Refresh would also be nice at a high level. So it's able to deal with various status effects like like sleeping and sleeping is a problem. Like my, my, my party members had real sleep issues in the past. Which is not cool. Don't sleep on the job, kids. You're never going to get yourself in a good situation with sleeping on the job. I can promise you that. Not like, not like I have experience doing it. Ah oh, yeah, I will reuse self again because this thing is just an annoying dick bag. Uh, Multi-hit did like 50 damage and true shot does 40. Ugh, it's just not good. Just not. Yeah, there's another, another couple of turns in there. Ah, it's worth you using thunder here. You had to, didn't you? Thing is, if I revive Keen, he's gonna use his damn AoE skill, but revive might be so slow, it might end up letting me um, heal Keenan up before he can't do anything. Nice, that's the first time he attacked Arbuckle and I managed to get a parry. That is good, that's how that's supposed to go every turn, but nope. The game is just like, nope, nope you don't. Uh, it's Keenan, yeah, I'm using Crush with you right now, but don't let yourself get crushed. Please, this is a demand. Please oblige. Arrows the rain from the skies. Oh man, two times in a row. Maybe we, maybe we got him. Maybe we tricked him into thinking this is the thing to do. Oh my god, full party kill on the turtle. Give me an item. That's the second time, that is suspicious. Second time we don't get an item from Mr. Turtle. 500 experience though, that is quite a number. That is quite a number. Um, we will heal up Keenan with an actual Cure 3 skill, yeah. 
I did it, kids, I did it. And then we'll continue on our path, because that thing was, uh, well, not what I would have expected. Uh, let's go into the dead end first, because that is, it would be rather nice. So we, we talked, we found Ren in this area in a one-tile room. There is no enemy behind here. Ah, that's a treasure. No, what? Just that. That's the most suspicious thing I've come across so far. I, uh, I do not want to step on that. I do not. I do not want to step on that. Oh, it looks... I, either that's like a poison tile, or it's a pitfall, and I, I really have no intention of falling down right now. And so, it, it looks way too suspicious, man. I can't, not right now. I, I, there is no, there is no falling into a pit right now. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I'll put, I'll put a, like, event marker there. I should go back there. But not right now. I'm not up for the task. I'm not up for it. Pressure is too, too much. Too much for me to handle. You see something slender and white protruding from the ground. Uh, slender and white fit exactly one job description. And that is a slender man. You see something slender and white protruding from the ground. Let's check that out. You pull it from the earth and see it's an old wand. Ooh, gimme, 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 what's an old wand? Ah, uh, uh, I know what an old wand is. An old wand is exactly like a broken axe. It's a, a, it's for a quest, unfortunately. No, oh, I didn't mean to get into combat, you little. But we have to draw a map anyways. There is an item point here with the letter M attached to it because it's a mining point. Nice, and we will mine. We will mine as much as we possibly can here because we get new stuff. Corundum. Corundum. Grundum. Crab leg, oh god. Rock coral. Rock coral. Rock coral. Crab leg, and that is it. Okay, I can work with that. He got each item every day of the week. Um, where is this, where, where do we want to continue on? The only area left is, oh come on man. Yeah, you are absolutely right. I don't want to, I don't want to either, but we, we're gonna have to. What, uh, if I had to take a guess, that is a pitfall you have to take to continue on t in terms of, um, you know, where you get. Because you fall down and then you're able to open up a shortcut somewhere and that you otherwise wouldn't be able to. The ground gives away! The insect queen's palace. Come on, man. Just, just, just do me a favor here. Just a little favor. I want to get in on that and mark that as a pitfall. It really didn't need a genius to, like, it, it really did not take a genius to figure out what that meant. Uh, yeah, that's a wall. Check. A small crack is visible in the wall of trees before you, but it seems you cannot pass through from this side. That is good to know. Because if I hadn't checked that out, I probably would have, like, not noticed from the other side. Uh, keep in mind, we actually want to get out of here at some point. Because we already took on a turtle, and turtles are not exactly cool. Let's not go against an ant queen right now. Uh, that would be mighty unfortunate. Nah. See what you're doing here. Clear as day. There's there's no no tough enemies yet. Oh, 
What do we have here? Up oh, the encounter barges showed up. So there is an enemy around here somewhere. Uh, those are red. Do those were not guard and oh great. I have eight crushes left. I will use one here. I will not use an use an arrow. I'll use my one of my crushes though. Because I am worried. Oh no, that's a waste. Ah, no, it's not. Keenan. Oh, fun. You're not supposed to pay me back in kind, man. You're not supposed to do exactly the same thing I did to you. That is not fair. It's not how it works in these lands. I am the hero. You are an ant. You can't damage me. Don't be ridiculous, sir. You have fallen. That's what you do. You fall quite low. Guard ant. I wish it dropped something, but it didn't. I wish it had dropped something. Okay, that's a very interesting wall here. Look at the look at the paintings on it. Looks like uh, the 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 natives were there. Nope, actually not, because the Azure Forest does not habitat any. Uh, did not ever habitat any kind of culture that would create such drawings. That's okay. It just has a big ant queen, and we are probably gonna have to take care of it. Like always. Or dodge around it and have it not look at us. That's also a viability. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hex frog. Sir, you got you got a little too much of a tan. Shouldn't shouldn't have stayed out in the sun that long. You really shouldn't have. Uh I don't want to find out what the curse does. I do not want to find out what curse does. Glass eye. Yeesh. Frog. It's an utter dead end. Well, that's uh, strange. Wait, this entire section was. Never mind. There was still a path to go here. If you remember what. Yeah, I wanted to, to, to just tell you if you remember right, there was a staircase leading upward and I um, called out that that is for the guys who fall down in pits and, um, you know, I fell, I, I did fall down into a pit. To no avail, by the way, I knew that it was there and I just, just waltzed in. But then again, I couldn't have just, um, well, put a pit symbol there on because of suspicion. Couldn't. Do not blindside me, please! Oh, Crusher, everything! They throw everything at me, everything they have. And it's not much. Keep it to yourself, people. You really shouldn't do this. You're messing with the wrong guy. Ever since I played The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, I've been saying that because Zane, the character in that, says that every time he um, solves a round of combat, so to say, or gets the last hit. You're messing with the wrong guy. And I never was able to stop. We got a bone shard from the Ant Guardians. Very convenient. Uh, no encounter meter. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Okay, if I was smart, I would probably go down toward that door frame that is right. What? Um, the door would be right here. And to get right there, I would have to go directly down. That's what the smart version of myself would do. But um, I'm not. Ah, oh, man, I will check out the door and then I will just walk back. No, I can't continue exploration here. Yes, I can. 
But you can almost be... So, uh, I know what this map layout looks like now. I am going to know where the pitfalls are. Because every single one of those stretches, every... I, I The pitfalls are located in the dead end spots. That's where the pitfalls are. Elastic and bone shard. I'm sorry, elastic. That's uh, that's how you put that. That's what the one soldier told me anyways. And I believe him. I believe him. Um, yeah, we're gonna go up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to. And we are going to go around half. What, what's our inventory look like? 28 out of 60. Oh, there's so much more to go. But alas, if you look at the episode length, there is not. For the moment, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the, in, in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.